Um, hello everyone, and I just decided to go through how I go through the progress of making a team for Pug. And today I've got the start of the team, and I decided, you know, let's let's go through it. I've only got two things I want definitely so far, so just go through it. Um, to look for stuff, I use Smoke because it has an easy search database and um, a list has a list of all the moves so you can just look through. Um, to, uh, for a starting player, Smogan is actually quite good um, if you want to just look at sets. I personally use it just to remind myself of what sets everyone else uses because if you know what set everyone else uses, you can just predict people all over the place because that's what people tend to use. So, I'm going to make a new team. I'm gonna make a new team. Yeah, thank you. New team. And this is gonna be an OU team. And it's gonna be called Hail, as you may have guessed by those things there. But uh, these things up at the top. Um, but right, first off, we're gonna add the most obvious part of any Hail team: a bonus note. Uh, who I always call Obama Snow because that's what I just say. I apologize, but that thing yeah. What can you do? And the first thing that I always notice about Obama Snow is he has pretty average stats. They're not great, but he has a very decent HP, very decent, decent um, attack and special attack. They're not amazing, but they're pretty fucking high. I mean, I've been using Scarf Tentacle, who I was lower than those, so it's pretty decent. Um, special defense is pretty decent. Defense is okay, kind of lacking for the unfortunate ice typing, but meh. And the shocking speed. But speed doesn't really matter, um, especially having a slower um, weather inducer, because um, he summons permanent hail. Uh, the effect of snow warning, or any weather inducing effect, is based upon, like, whichever one goes off second, uh, if you had, for example, Politoed, the other guy sends out Politoed, you send out Obama, uh, Obama Snow, pardon me, Obama Snow, Ugh. Um, if that situation happens, what actually occurs is that, um, whoever is slower, their weather effect actually takes effect. So, if you have a slow Obama Snow, and the other guy whacks out his Politoed, his rain will come up, then your um, hail will take effect, meaning that your weather effect is up, his isn't. He has to swap out and back in if he wants his weather. You don't. You can just stay there. So, you have a Obama Snow. He's the key part of any hail team. Um, looking at this, I think it's fairly obvious you want to abuse the, the Blizzard. Because Blizzard becomes 100% accurate within Hail. If you want, actually, let's just take a quick look at all of the Hail effects. So, um, this move generates the Hail weather condition for 5 turns. Any weather condition previously on the field is removed, so if you face another weather team, you've got to make sure that you get in the second. While this condition is active, all Pokemon that are not of the Ice type, or do not have the abilities Ice Body, which means they regenerate health in Hail, Magic Guard, which means they're immune to all uh, residual damage effects, Overcoat, which means they're immune to Sandstorm and Hail damage, or Snow Cloak, which means their evasion is increased by 20% in Hail, uh, lose 1 16th of their health at the end of every turn. Same as Lefties. Uh, lefties game. The move Solar Beam will only hit with half of its usual base power, which mm, is okay effect, but only some teams really use Solar Beam. Um, since this is Moonlight and Morning Sun, only recover a quarter of opponent's maximum health. That's really useful, especially if you manage to get um, Obama Snow in against like uh, a Nine Tails, um, because Obama Snow will actually really do quite a bit of damage to a Nine Tails, and um, obviously it's a losing fight because you're four times weak. But um, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's really useful. It stops a lot of things healing source dead. Um, Blizzard's accuracy is raised to 100%. Very, very useful. A base 120 power move being 100% accurate is amazing. Ice Body gets an extra lefties gain, basically. 
Um, yeah, evasion by 20. The user of this move holds the item Icy Rock. But yeah, that's for actual hail. Um, we're not using hail, we just need to summon hail by his effect. Um, that's to do with Chaos Tom. Um, and it's... You know, it's a very useful effect, so you got to consider what you're going to try and do while making this team. Anyway, yeah. When I see a bonus though, I see... The first thing that I came to my head was these two stats. And I just saw Bulky, it's Bulky Special Attacker, and you have to decide which side you want to be more Bulky on. Obvious, to me, it's obvious to go Special Defense, because his defense is weaker to start with. His typing completely bones him from any physical. Physical attackers tend to be rock, tend to be fighting. Yeah, it's not the best typing in the world. It's a fantastic offensive typing, the worst defensive typing by a long way. Um, grass is kind of a useful extra typing, but fire is obviously going to ruin you. <laughs> it's just not gonna end well. Really isn't. Um, so yeah, I per, uh, what I saw when I looked at this moveset was Blizzard. Blizzard, energy ball. Gives him double stab. Nice. Painful. Also, he learns grass whistle. I didn't realise he learned grass whistle. That is amazing. He learns hail as well, lol. Um, but Grass Whistle. Sleep. Fantastic move. Um, and Leech Seed. What more can you ask for? So, straight away we're going to go in. We're going to go uh, Boma. We have Mr. Snowy here. Uh, item wise, as we're going the Wally route, we're going to go Leftovers. Um, I think this is fairly standard for any wall, really. Um, yeah, uh, so we've gone that. So we have Snow Warning, so he's something to think. Then we're gonna go Blizzard. They suggest Focus Blast and Giga Drain and all this shit. Nah, Leech Seed. Um, what are those suggestions? Ugh. Ugh. Energy Ball, bro. And, uh, Grass Whistle, where are you? They don't even list it as a potential. And Grass Whistle. And they suggest specially defensive. No, 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 no. What we're going to do here. Um. Okay. We obviously don't need any attack investment, so that's actually going to be what we base our thing on. Defense wise, we could give him a bit of a investment, but we definitely. Starters, he's doing 252 special defense. He's going to be our def specially defense for. Um, speed wise, I don't want any speed investment. And in this case, I'm going to do the slightly douchey thing of doing a 252, 252, 4. Not the best thing to do in the world. Kind of helps. Not really, but it kind of helps. And we're going to do the plus on his special defense. Now, this is going to give him pretty decent special defense, pretty awesome special attack as well. So he's going to make a nice mess of something he gets a good hit on. And he gets the calm nature. nature. Um, so yeah, there's our first go. Now, as part of making any hail team, you need a spinner. And the only spinner that really fits on any team of weather-inducing effects. Hello, Foratress. Overcooked. Grants immunity to damage from weather effects. That basically means that Forry can sit there all day. And it's pretty much amazing. They suggest that. Which to me, the vault. There. 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 And blah. Oh. So anyway, what we're going to do is look at their moves instead of their bloody strategy sets. 
And obviously, that is the most beastly defense stat. Ugh, and his typing is amazing for it. Um, so, uh, but what we're gonna do here, what we're gonna do here, is have a look and let's see. What am I? <laughs> Amazing little move. Um, now, I look and I have to admit that you kind of just see I, I, it. We'll start off making him. So we have four, four address, and itemize. I think lefties are essential. He's going to be a wall. He has no other form of recovery at all because these four address. Um, so overcoat. And moves wise, we rapid spin first call of the day. Stealth rock because probably I don't think I'm gonna add in a, another user of rocks. Um, I'm not gonna be the Belland who does rock uh, stealth rock spikes. No, that's for another time. Um, other than that, having a look at his moves. What have we got? Here? You could go with light screen. That's definitely feasible. I've used the that kind of set before. It's kind of nice. It's not too nice though. Uh, you got rapid spin. You got stealth rock. I'm thinking toxic. Always nice on a fire. You could use protect. Um. <laughs> Looking at their list of moves for him. I might just go the explosion route, though I do prefer to have my walls living. So I may just go protect. I think I might just. I'm going to end up going protect, aren't I? Have a slightly annoyingly retarded one. Yeah, why don't they list protect? He can learn protect. I know he can learn protect because I've used the one with the protect. It's weird. Protect. Um, sad to say, I think I may actually use the spread. Yeah. There you go. First time ever I'm actually using this suggested spread. So, we have our foray. So, we've got uh, two of our dudes. Just close those windows. And now we have to. Personally, the way I like to build teams is. Depending on the team. In this situation, I'd like to have a specially defensive wall, which we have in a, ba uh, a, a bonus note, pardon me. We have a defensive wall in the form of Fari. So, we could go down the route of a mixed wall as a third wall because I always like having three walls and it makes sense to me to have one two specialized walls and one mixed so a mixed wall for this team I'm leaning towards Clefable because Clefable if I'm not mistaken gets magic guard which it does Clefable didn't ignore what they say and um, so we have Clefable and it learns the aromatherapy, which is amazing. So we could have an aromatherapy. That's definitely an option. It <laughs> learns cosmic power. If we really wanted to be a cunt. Um, there's quite a lot of things, actually. Unfortunately, the wish protect form is probably the best one. Um, <sighs> wish protect toxic 
aromatherapy. Yeah, I know that is like the world's most cunty said, but it, for fortunately, it does learn encore actually. Mm. Mm, cool. Uncle, well, Wish, I think, is pretty much essential. So, Wish, Uncle, Protect, sadly. And then you have space for another move, and I'm thinking oh, Aromatherapy. No, I'm gonna get Toxic. That gives us a nice mix. We're gonna have to be interesting on the stats for this. Uh, leftovers. In this situation, we're gonna be standard for most of these sets. Well, kind of standard. You know, our own version. It does learn soft boiled. I might take that instead of wish because I forgot it learns soft boiled. Actually, yeah, that gives us more room. So I'm gonna go soft boiled. Encore. Um, that means we can go aromatherapy, soft boiled, encore. What else did I say? No, actually, no, 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 no. We're not going to go soft boiled. We're going to go wish because he's going to be a wish passer because that's really useful on a hail team. Um, I'm going to go toxic. I'm going to have several toxic inducers. Um, <laughs> toxic spike suggestion. Um, and I'm temp. He's a wish passer, so we go two five two hit points. That's fairly obvious. <laughs> If we go one, two, four, one, two, four, like that, left with eight, we could put eight more in each. I'm leaning towards putting eight in speed and giving him plus defense, minus attack. Oh, I can't type. And that gives us pretty good round defense. So we have our wall and core, uh, because any team based around uh, effect like hail is going to need. You're going to have to wear down people. You know, put them to sleep, poison them, protect them out, stealth rock, rapid spin away their shit, so you can do what you like. Um, the next guy we're going to add. Now we have a lot of options. We have. Any kind of um, we could go with any kind of ice-based attacker. Um, I'm kind of leaning personally towards a certain favorite of mine that I never get to use. Um, let me introduce you to the the mighty, often forgotten about Glaceon with Ice Body, which is amazing. Um, combined with look at that. It's an amazing special attack stat. His speed is disappointing. Um, choice specs, lol. Why would you use choice specs? Um, yeah, uh, ignore their sets. Um, so we're just gonna have a look. I think Ice Beam is more reliable than Blizzard. Um, Assuming you're gonna get your hail up is not the best thing to do. Um, but what I am gonna do with Glaceon, because he is an amazing little poke, is we're gonna give him a life orb. Now, what this means is, combined with Ice Body, if we have Hail Up, he can last for more hits than he looks like he's going to last. Um, you whack on Ice Beam, you whack on Shadow Ball for coverage, that's a very good suggestion actually. And then we can look at what else he can learn. 
and we obviously want special moves to abuse that beautiful a overpowered hit um he can learn heal bell might have to go for that actually I was going to build him bulky, so yeah, we'll go heal bell for a bit of utility. Means he can heal himself if we start getting status, and we want a hidden power. Um, Ice beam, shadow ball, heal bell are very useful moves. Uh, gives you good coverage, but what doesn't it hit? I'm thinking hidden power fire. That gives you a kind of sneak play. And that is exactly the spread I was going to do. Thank you. So now we have a kind of bulky little bastard there who can hit really hard. And now I'm going to go for a interesting one. We want a physical attacker. And it's good to have a look down their list. We could go <laughs> down that route. Um, which is kind of tempting. Kind of very tempting, actually. Kieran Black. <laughs> Abuse that. Okay. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to go for a bit of a an overpowered one. This is going to be our hitter. So... Yeah, I think you can kind of tell what we're going to do here. Um, we're going to go all physical. I think Outrage is a good suggestion. That will really hit hard. We want a physical ice move. Uh, what's the most powerful physical ice move this guy learns? Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, not many physical ice moves. I know that. Apparently, he doesn't fucking learn any of them. Um, I can't. I can't believe that. You don't learn any physical ice moves. There's like, there's icicle crash. There's ice fang. It's, you have a fucking mouth. Um, wow, that is surprising. I'm I'm failing to believe that they made a bloody what's his name again, Kieran? Control F, Kieran. I can't spell. Kieran Black. Now you are telling me that he does not learn any moves at all. Useful. It would appear that Ice Beam is the only, um, There you go with Ice Beam. <sighs> what do you know? My set is listed on Smogan. Shame that. Oh well. No, 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 no. We're gonna go 252. 252. And we're gonna boost his space speed. And lower his defense. No, defense lower, thank you. So, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so he's gonna rag face. And then our final dude. In this.
this situation, we want someone who is just there to be a bellend and take hits. Now, the best thing that I can think of, especially on this kind of team, would be my favourite poke, which is the amazing Crobat. Unfortunately, we're not going to go choice band set this time. We're going to do a little more of a standard set. We're going to go lefties. Um, we're going to go in a focus because that's the only good ability he learns. And um, I always forget he can learn nasty plot. I'm at least my day every time I see that. Uh, uh, yeah, we're going to have roost. We're going to have taunt. We're going to have U turn. And hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking about this. I'm not sure what I want to go for. Whirlwind, maybe? Maybe a Brave Bird? I don't really want Brave Bird on this one. Tented my Sludge Bomb. But no, U-turn's more physically based. I'm gonna go whirlwind. Means he's a bit he's gonna be a bit of a utility guy, so we have kind of two utility guys, two special attackers, a physical and a bell end. Um this is going to be we're gonna go two five two health, because that really helps him. Um we're gonna put a fair amount of speed investment in. I'm thinking we want to get to like how much does 120 speed give him? 326. I think that's, yeah, that's good. We'll go with that. And we'll give him a little bit of an attack investment. I'd say about 80 will do fine. Fairly decent chunk. Gives him some damage. And then we have 56 remaining. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 28 in each defense. What this does is makes him pretty bulky and really fast. So he has a lot of, you know, use. And then we're going to go minus special attack. We're going to put the remaining bulk in his defense because I think he's going to be swapping into fighting hits a fair amount. Uh, so yeah, that's our team. We're going to call it Hail. And we're going to save. And I am now aware that this video has taken half an hour of your time. But I think we have to do one game with it to test it. It's probably going to suck balls. Let's find out, shall we? So, hail. Look for a battle. Let's see how this hail team does. Have I wasted half an hour of your time? Have I wasted half an hour of my time? Am I about to lose to another team? Hmm. Old school. With Excel Goal. I'm going to leave with Crobat. He's probably going to leave with Excel Goal. He led with Fory. You're getting taunted. Um. Yeah. I don't think so, bro. And in fact, I'm going to Whirlwind. Because you're going to switch. No, you're going to Gyro Ball. No, I'm just going to Whirlwind you out then. Bye. I'm going to U turn. See if he stays in. Scarfed. Life orbed. Max speed life orb. Max speed life orb. Max speed life orb. Hmm. Wasn't planning on meeting one of these. What I'm going to do is going to toxic. He went close combat. That boggles my mind. And we miss. I'm gonna protect. He brings out his own for him. 
I'm going to stealth rock. He's going to stealth rock. I'm going to rapid spin. He's going to rapid spin. We're both getting nowhere. Um, so I'm just going to stealth rock. He's going to vault switch. Now I have rocks up. He doesn't. He has achieved nothing with that. He's knocked a bit of health off a of Fari. He's probably going to go straight back to that Infernape unless he doesn't actually have a flyer move. Which in this case it's the most retarded Infernape in all of existence. Um, I don't know why he didn't go for the 5 move straight away. Excelgore. What? Toxic? I think this guy's just genuinely retarded or something. What? I don't get why... I don't get it. I'm just gonna go Kaflable because I don't trust this guy. That little fair chunk. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever. Just gonna use wish. Ooh. Ooh, dear. And bollocks. I'm just going to use Wish again. See what he wants to do. He's probably going to Vault Switch. He's going to use his own Stealth Rock. That's fine with me. Now... I'm going to Encore him. Because now he's stuck on Stealth Rock. Which means I get a safe switch into Fory. I have a full health Cathable. He's stuck. So he switches out to Gonkulder. I'm going to Rapid Spin. He's going to bulk up, I imagine, because he hasn't got Flame Orb. Which means he may be Sheer Force. Lol, crit. It mattered. I'm actually going to Toxic as he bulks up, because this, this puts a clock on him. Um, if he wants to stay in here boosting, P achieves nothing. I'm just going to protect here, protecting an attack. Yep, Ice Punch. Ice Punch? What? At least use Drain Punch, bro. I'm going to go for a double protect. Oh, I got the double protect. He's mad. Why are you going for Ice Punch? I haven't... Oh, my God. I realise that at this point I haven't actually got my hail up yet, which is a really bad thing. But, whatever. I'm just going to go for a thing that does nothing. This guy... Just going to protect. Now he goes dream. Um, I'm gonna go for the double protect. Oh my god, I got the double protect again. So I just top tick stalled out a Conkledur. I feel like a bellend. That would have gone faster. But. At this point, I'm feeling, well, okay, he fell a bit says he's raped his own Infernape. Um, I'm just going to go Obama Snow, get Hail up, causing problems, go back to uh, Clefable. As he probably just goes for a Flare Blitz, yep. I live, he dies, Clefable's leftovers hit him. 
Now he has a problem, because even that Gengar will not be able to do very much. Um, I'm going to wish, see what he wants to do. He's going to use Stealth Rock. And I'm going to Encore him. I don't think he's realised that this is how this works. Um, I'm going to switch into Glaceon. He's probably going to go out to Gengar. No, he's just going to stay in. At this point, I kind of have to bite the bullet and just go for it. He switches out to Blissey. I do nothing. Go Fable. Yeah, I'm going to go Fable. He's going to Toxic. That means that Michael Fable is fine. Nothing was achieved there. I'm going to Encore. So he's stuck. He can't do anything. And yeah. So he can't heal. I can get a Toxic off. Or he's just going to switch back into Fori. I'm going to wish. He's going to rapid spin. That's fine. That's fine with me. I have a full health of Balmus now. You have a Gengar. And I'm pretty sure Gengar's not gonna like Blizzard. So in this situation, bro, you lose. He's gonna disable. Because it's so obviously just a set that's copied off Smogan. He went straight for the Focus Blast. What do you know? I get a tiny hit off of him. I can't believe that he doesn't have Disable. I refuse to believe he doesn't have Disable. And he misses and he loses. GG! Because there is no way he wins this. Um, he just outright loses this. Um, you see, Leech Seed Bliss. And as you see, Bliss has far too much fucking health for its own good, so I'm just going to Grass Whistle. So we lose a little bit to poison. I'm just gonna switch out to Kiram. Take some from Stealth Rock. He's gonna switch out to Fori, which is not gonna like this. Wow. I don't give Fori enough credit, Jesus. Oh, I forget it's not the stab. I need to put a fire or a fighting move on that guy. Yeah, I need, I need to change his moves. Um, uh, you have lost, bro, because I can just toxic you. So... The team works. It needs a little bit of adjusting, which I may do right now. Um, this video is getting a little long, but we're just going to do a couple of changes very quickly. First off, we're going to change this guy's moves. So, I'm going to see what he learns on the terms of physical hits. Um, Stone Edge is vaguely tempting. Actually, I'm going to do that. Stone Edge is going to be one of them. And we're actually going to get rid of Outrage, I think. No, we're going to get rid of Dragon Claw. We don't need Dragon Claw. 
we can replace it. We need some description of a hit, like a big, heavy fucking hit. We could go. Strength. <laughs> A free shock. <laughs> yeah, um, there really isn't much you can do with this guy. Maybe Zen the headbutt. Maybe toxic. Maybe tox. No, toxic. What am I on about? Zen headbutt is vaguely tempting because that hits. Um, well, it would hit Gengar, but you know it hits stuffs. Um. I can't believe I don't have an ice type. I think ice beams are actually gonna have to come back. Ice. Actually, we're just gonna go with Blizzard. Fuck it. Gives him a decent chunk of power. We'll go. We'll go with that. And yeah, other than that, yeah, I kind of like this team. I'll play with it a bit more. I think. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. Um, I just showed you my timer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll see you around.